Today I would like to show you how to turn an idea into a production Rails application. It's a very simple idea and I want to deploy it on Heroku and show you the technical parts of it. The idea is about creating a Snapchat directory for developers and it's part of my experiment which I started with this blog post called Snapchat for Programmers in which I want to encourage fellow developers to try out Snapchat and to see whether it's actually it can be useful for us. At the moment we are a few weeks in and it's working really well. Many people are snapping about development related topics and I'm really enjoying this whole experience. We have, we have a list of developers here. We have a list of developers who added themselves in the comments. So I was thinking, why don't we build a Snapchat directory for developers? The problem with Snapchat is that it doesn't have a discovery feature built into the platform yet. So basically, you have to know the, uh, the login of someone to find their snap code, or you have to be close physically to them to, to scan the snap code, or they should share the snap code. So it's not like fully easy. It's not like with Twitter or Facebook. And remember, Snapchat is mobile only. There are other directories, but they are targeting like all kinds of users. While I think that if this experiment uh, can work, this should be more targeted to developers. So building a, any kind of directory is not a dif difficult thing. So I want to show the basics of uh, how I'm doing it and I will use the Rails scaffolding because that's like, totally enough for that. And I want to stay with just three fields. So I want to stay just with full name, Snapchat username and some kind of about thing. So that's, that's my goal. So I will generate a new, I already generated a new Rails app. I will scaffold the developer resource with just three fields. I'm going to deploy it to Heroku and make some final tweaks. I will help myself here with the Rails 5 on Heroku documentation. It's really good and it shows all the details that are, that are important. And the versions I'm using is the Ruby 2.3.0 and Rails. At the moment of creating this video, Rails 5.0 is not officially yet there. So I'm using beta 3, which hopefully shouldn't be much different in this context. So I have generated the Rails app with uh, Rails new dev snap. That's all I did. And I opened Atom. And by the way, I'm just starting with Atom. So this is like my first usage of Atom here. But so far it's looking good. I've just applied this uh, Darkula theme that I like from RubyMine as well. And I hope I can <laughs> live here. Um, all right, once I generated the application, I know I need to make some changes. Um, first, I need to replace SQLite with uh, Postgres. That's part of this... Uh, that's part of what is required for Heroku. Heroku is only for Postgres. In theory, I could locally use SQLite, but it's more complex for configuration and it's not really uh, worth it. I need to bundle install and RubyMine, I'm, the bundle install always worked magically and automatically, so I hope I will not forget to do so uh, in here. All right, let's go to database YAML and change the defaults for the Postgres defaults. Uh, remove unnecessary comments now. And I need to change the development dev snap dev and dev snap test all right in production i'm not actually saying what's the database name because that's handled by heroku i think that's it i can do rake db create it's actually now it's recommended to use rails db create that's the change that comes with rails 5 It's good, and I will generate a scaffold now called developer, and they will have um, login string, full name string, and about text. That should be enough. And Rails DB migrate to run it. If everything is fine, I should be able to see the application running on localhost. 
Uh, by the way, we now are using the threading mod model here in Rails. That's, I think that's also new in Rails 5. The main app seems to work and developers seems to work as well. So that's the goal. I want to be able to add my login, add my full name, um, pro programming, Ruby, legacy, Rails, Arc and CCO, remote work, all the kind of things I'm talking about on my Snapchat. Create developer and that's like, I want to show a list. So that's, that's like the, totally the basics that I need, just a list of users. And I will be ashamed by pushing this live, like looking like this. But uh, it's okay to start with that. It's, it's like totally okay. I need to just delete the edit and destroy buttons. It probably show is not really important at the moment. So we will just have a, a list of things here. All right. So what's the next step? Next step. The next step for me is to see this in, on Heroku. So is there anything else that I need to do? They recommend to add Heroku gems. Uh, so I'll add them. and run bundle install but also we can add the ruby version to the gem file at the end all right saving and i can stop the server here bundle install works well now i need to initialize a git repository because that's how heroku works so git init git at all git commit it's called initial that's enough all right so git Status, nothing to commit. That's cool. Now I need to call Heroku, uh, Heroku create, and I can optionally uh, dev. How do? How should I call it? Dev snap as well. I can give the name, and this will be part of the URL. Dev snap, developer snap, dev snap. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Good. So in theory it's there, uh, but now what it's changed is it added a new, uh, basically I need to push to Heroku the master branch. And it's only then when actually this application gets uh, deployed. So that's the automatic way how Heroku works. They are using my uh, gem file to detect the Ruby version. Now they're building the whole thing on their side. Hopefully, if everything works, we will see it live. It takes a moment. Uh, meanwhile, I can show you what was produced by the uh, by the scaffolding. Didn't really change recently, so if you are used to Rails, it's all the same. If you're new to Rails, this is a typical controller that is generated if you use scaffold. And a reminder, don't use scaffolds usually, <laughs> it's not the best part. And here I'm using scaffold because I really want to get quickly to the result and I'm focusing on having it on production more than I'm want, that I'm really, that's important for me to get it right at the beginning. All right, so this URL should now work. It doesn't work for the root page, and if you work, if we work on that locally, we had this welcome page really nice for the uh, root URL. The difference is that in uh, production, there th this welcome page doesn't work. So I should go like this. It doesn't work, and I think I know what, what might be the problem. And the problem is probably because I didn't run, run uh, migration on Heroku. So let me guess that. I should probably look at the logs, but but that's usually the problem that I forget about. Okay, it, uh... and hey, I have now one URL working, new developer. Login. And I, I'm about to remove the editing feature because I don't want people to edit other people's profiles, so I need to get it right. Ruby Rails. JavaScript, React, legacy, CEO, remote work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. DDD, that's an important part of what I'm saying. 
Okay, let's put it like this. Create developer, back. So this looks good. I would say I would like to have this. Um, let's run a Rails server. So that's the local host version. I can use it and it works. Yep. Uh, I hope I don't get it confused. So one small change. I want this root URL to actually work. And I'm going, so I don't know what's the shortcut for searching. I will do it manually for now. In the past, this was the way root to developers hash, in, hash index. That should work. Yeah, so let's, it doesn't require um, any refreshes. Okay. That works fine. Good. Um, what else? I need to get rid of edit and destroy. Okay, index is okay. Show, I don't need to get have show. Definitely not. Uh, edit is not possible as well. Create is fine. Update is not needed. And destroy is not needed. So I will moderate manually at the beginning. That's like start from the middle and we don't need many of those features. And app. Uh, so we also have some views now which are not needed. Uh, I don't need all those JSON things. Maybe one day I will add some API support but that's not needed and I really don't need those comments. I like know them very well and they don't give me too much. I should build a plugin for removing all the comments automatically. Okay, edit and show and JSON. This is hopefully not needed. Move to trash, yes. All right, and then I can say git status and I see lots of changes. Uh, tweaks to make it production ready. Good. It's still not everything because in the index page I have link to show which doesn't work and I have link to edit which doesn't work and I have link to destroy which doesn't work and I can remove this whole thing here. Let's just see if it's still working. Yep. That was my goal. The new should work, creating should work, back should work, but probably it will crash because this redirects to show at the end. Yes. Uh, so I don't want to redirect to show while, while after I'm creating redirect to developers path. That's what I want to have. Uh, so new developer, login, create developer. And should be somewhere at the end. All right, and let's see what I changed. Okay, so removed unused buttons. It's enough. What else? Um, oh yeah, I want to have uh, some validations. So that let's go to app models developer and let's type validates. Does it actually autocomplete? No. So validates login uh, full name. Nice that it's autocompletes. All right. And about I want to have all of those fields and the idea is to have presence true. Let's see how this works. Login can be a full name, okay. And if I type, if I use all of that, create, good. Uh, git status. Don't let people. So usually the comments messages should be why I'm doing it because I don't want to let people submit empty values. All right. Now that I have all of that, git push Heroku master. No migrations to run, so I don't need to forget about anything. Developers on Snapchat. It would be nice to have developers on Snapchat, I think. Uh, so index developers 
on Snapchat. And I think that's that's enough. I will actually be ready to send this URL, even though it's a scaffold and everything everyone will love. That's like that's making the basic things. I'm gonna use Bootstrap or Foundation later to make it prettier, but that's like the next step. Uh, GitCI, uh, better title, and git push Heroku master. So now I'm actually ready to launch Twitter or Snapchat and you know promote this new page uh, because that's useful enough. There are some things that I didn't do and I should do, but I will do them probably later. Is that I didn't disable the routes for um, edit, update, and destroy. I only deleted the actions and the views, and that's like uh, that's is good, but it is not enough. I should have deleted here as well. And obviously, I need to you know improve the, the views here. So just let's see whether it works. Yeah, seems good. I don't want to add new things here. Good. I will, I think, start with um, you know telling the RKC people how to use it and asking them for um, filling out the form. And that's it. And so you see, it was very quickly actually how we made it, made it to him, to Heroku. Even though the Rails five version is new and it's still not official, Heroku is, has all it's all of it supported. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the RKC YouTube channel. And the last note, this video will be also and is part of the junior race developer class that I'm running at RKNC. We are collecting people and teachers and we are building a um, full-blown class for teaching you and learn for you to learn how to become a junior race developer. So how to become employable, employable and you know how to start your career as a race programmer. That's it. Thanks.